Hello. Hi. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we're going to go through all of my favorite fall blushes and lip products. So that sounds good to you. I hope you'll stick around, hang out, keep watching, and let's dive into the beautifulness. You guys, I have no idea what that intro was. I'm on a filming round robin today. We just did the get ready with me Q&A for this look, which is like my typical strong liner look that I do, especially if I want to do a statement lip. So we're going to be doing lip swatches of all of the lippies, which there's a lot. I'm going to start with blush because that is what I have the least amount of. So let's dive into all the fall things. You know, I'm like so excited. All right. So the first one is actually the blush that I am wearing today, and it is the Live Tinted Hue Beam, their blushing bronzer duo, which I had no idea was this large. Like this is a large, large pan, like this <laughs> bigger than my palm, which is crazy. Um, but you get this really nice gradient of like a light bronzer, a rosy blush, and then a deep bronzer. I kind of swirl it together. So I'll show you swirled together and then we'll do three. All right. So the top is everything swirled together. Then we have that light bronzy shade, the kind of like rosy, yeah, it's a true rose blush. It's all of these lean kind of warm and then the deep bronzer side, which is quite deep, but very rosy when you blend it out. So I will say that this bronzer is not necessarily meant for very fair skin tones. However, if you go in very lightly, mm -hmm. tap the brush off really well, it is such a gorgeous, rosy, bronzery blush, a bronzer, if you will. I have used it on my eyes, on my face. I'll pop a picture up from Instagram that I took where I had this on my eyes and face. I absolutely love it. It is a dry powder, but it doesn't look too matte as long as you are dewy underneath because once you blend it out, it is, she's matte. There might be like, no, I lied. It feels like a very dry matte powder, but it has just a touch of sheen to make it look like skin, like just a touch. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So that is a great one for fall. This is just like such a fall brown bronzer rose. I love it. All right, next we have the About Face. Cheek Freak and Get Some, which is no shock, another berry red. These are great. I will say the formula is very, very similar to the AF94 blush sticks that she came out with, but this, it's got that kind of almost silicone powdery finish. Blended out on the hand, a very beautiful rose. It looks like it's going to be quite intense, but these shades are also super nuanced. So there is a touch of brown in there, very kind of rosy red, not quite as dark as the Live Tinted. So this might be a good option if you are super fair, you won't have to be as careful with this, but I love shades like this for the fall. They pair super well with the berry lips that we're gonna get into. I think the Live Tinted is more of like a fall neutral. This is like a fall berry that's gonna go so well with red or berry lips. And then keeping in that theme is the Patrick Ta Blush Duo and Oh She's Perfect. I have loved this since the moment that I got it, I think two years ago. It's getting old, but I love it so much. You've got the powder and then you've got the cream. I love this formula so much. It's just that none of the other colors are ones that I feel the need to spend the money on. But up top is the powder. Down below is the cream. I'm gonna blend these out to give you kind of a more accurate blush swatch. So these powders are a little bit more pigmented than his single powders, blush powders, but again, that really, this one leans more red than the other, but it's so beautiful with a red statement lip or a berry lip, just kind of like that. If you're fair like I am, coming in from the winter, it's super cold, all of the blood has rushed to your cheeks, or you just got done running. Khaki calls it the fjord, I think. Kate the Great calls it Aspen Cheeks. It's just that 
natural flush of red from the blood coming to the surface of your skin. So this is perfect for that. Layered, the cream really makes it look like skin. This is such a beautiful formula. I just wish more colors fell into what I like. And then the last that we will swatch, and then I'll make sure that I put all of them on my arm here. So this is my favorite formula of all time for blushes, and it is the Phytosurgence. So we have condensate, exothermic, and we'll do a whole swatch video of Phytosurgence. That's on my list to film maybe this week, actually. We've got sublimate and evaporate. So what I chose for fall are <laughs> the toasted blushes because they're toasted fall, you know, it's just perfect. So on the bottom here, we have evaporate, up from that, we have sublimate, which evaporate is a very neutral toasted peachy shade. Then sublimate is getting again into that red berry, but you'll see this has much, much more gray and brown. This is more kind of primary red. So if you are muted or neutral, this one might be an even better match for you. Then we have exothermic, which is like a toasty taupe blush, which I absolutely love, but it has some kind of like red chocolate in there absolutely gorgeous. I like to keep this one further back on my cheek. And then we have condensate, which is such a beautiful lavender gray, like a true lavender gray. And on my skin tone, enough kind of rosiness comes through on that, that it is like just the perfect blush. I love it so much. So yeah, very fall. Then we have more primary and let's add the about face onto my hand here so you can see the differences. And then I'll do a swirl of the Live Tinted. Oh, I overlapped. Apologies, so we have Live Tinted up here. You can see much more orange and brown. Then I have AF94, not AF94, About Face. I have About Face here, so you'll see it has more kind of bluish purple than the Patrick Ta Oh She's Different. And then the lovely Phytosurgeons, just outstanding but these you're gonna see these on my face more often than not i think the only one that i would add to this is newer to me and it is the trixie mattel just a girl palette i don't know if she's going to keep this available forever but again stays right in line with the rest of these swatches that i'm showing you so let's go ahead and show this in comparison so up top we have moxie which is like a peachy pink and it shifts to like a nice kind of golden peach. Then below that we have Total Betty, which is like an, a neutral kind of rose. And then last is that cult classic shade, which is a beautiful brown rosy blush. So even if I show it here, you'll see that the Trixie Mattel is cooler than that Live Tinted. And these are kind of getting you into like a peachy orangish blush, but much more neutral than going for something a little bit more warm, like the Phytosurgeons or like the reds that we showed you here. Even though these have kind of a more balanced approach, these are a little bit more warmer, but these are a lot more delicate than these colors. So yeah, those are my favorite fall blushes. Now they don't include my kind of like everyday neutral blushes, but these blushes for fall, these swatches are so bad, I apologize. I love them so much, but the main reason I wanted to film this video is for the lips, so let's dive into lips. First off, I wanna talk about lip liner. So I have more of a brown lip liner, more of a darker contour, and then a berry. So I was actually really impressed with this one. I picked it up. It's 715 Plumberry from Wet n Wild, their lip crayon. You'll see these in action as I apply some of these lip products, but it's just a nice berry. It's not as red as the lipsticks that I, or the lip glosses that I use it with, but it provides enough structure to the lips and I really like that and it's very affordable. Then I have Victoria Beckham in two, which is much more warm and brown. This is her perfect contour shade and I love it, but this is definitely more of a contour for me than the khaki is a little bit more deep than this. So this is a little bit lighter and I appreciate that, but it's still darker than like the Fit Glow Nude that I wear or the 
Linda Hallberg Cosmetics in Mellow Mauve, which I'll do Mellow Mauve underneath. These are kind of like, these are my lip colors, so you can't see them. Really, they don't provide as much structure. So there is Linda Hallberg right here, and then here is the Fit Glow Nude, and then that is the Victoria Beckham, so it's a little bit more brown. And then lastly is Root from Fit Glow. This one I love for like the serious dark, more brown leading shades. And this is really all I have. I have a few other lip liners, but for fall, I would recommend having a brown, a deeper contour, and a berry or a red that can flex to those colors. So now that we have that, let's get in to the lips. I forgot two blushes, but just so you know, it's Merit Mood. I'll link the video <laughs> about that. And then Beauty Pie Sexy Berry. I have a lot of videos that include that. So just know that those are also very, very lovely fall blushes. Which do we want to start with first? Let's start with lip balms and then we'll go to lip oils and then we'll go to lip glosses and then lipsticks. So the first lip balm that I have is from Mob Beauty. Love this brand. I have a video all about them. This is M24 Balm, a very nice berry. It's going to go on a lot sheerer than that. So I'll just go ahead and swatch for you. So that's three swipes. Very sheer berry. I love it. These are just like the lipstick in that they melt on contact to the skin. It has an interesting scent. Almost like they want it to be mint, but not fully mint. But I love this. Definitely more red. Very juicy and shiny and hydrating. I love it. This is an easy one. You don't necessarily need a mirror to put these on, especially if you've already kind of lined your lips. But love this. Very beautiful. Next up is the N Beauty Lip Glaze in number two, Berry. This is an all year round thing for me, but since it lives in that Berry fami family, I wanted to include it. I have a video all about these that I will put up in the cards. But it smells divine and it adds just a touch of berry to the lips. And it is a little bit cooler than that Mob Beauty. Very, very subtle. Love it. Then let's do the Merit Lip Oil and Sangria. This is like a purple brownie berry and has more pigment than the last two that I showed you, but is lovely. There is the Merit. I'm gonna build it up a little bit. Love it. So again, much more purple and a touch of brown. All right, and then last in the lip balm category is Beauty Pie in the shade Sexy Berry. So the companion to that blush that we just mentioned. I love this formula. It has a nice pointed tip. It twists up. It's and it. Oh, I'll just put it on. Very easy to get precise but this one is going to be a little bit more warm and pink compared to the Merit Beauty right next to it. So here's the Beauty Pie. Love this formula, very hydrating, very easy to put on with that pointed tip and twist up applicator. This is if you like berry, but you like to go more kind of neutral, rosy. This is, I think, especially if you have a little bit deeper of a skin tone, such an everyday color, but this is like, I want to wear berry, but I don't want it to be too much. It's just gorgeous. Okay, let's move into lip glosses and then we'll do lipsticks. So I have the Live Tinted True Gloss or Hue Gloss. I keep calling it True Gloss. It's Hue Gloss in Brave, which is a beautiful, beautiful, rusty berry, almost like a rusty brownish red. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this formula so much. There's one layer, just a sheer wash, but these are very buildable and very comfortable to build. Very kind of brownie, not super, super deep. It's showing up a little bit 
deeper in real life. Let me adjust my lighting. I think the sun position is changing. I think that's a little better. So a little bit deeper, but in comparison, this is the Live Tinted. Very, very similar to Sexy Berry, but it has a little bit more orange and brown to it. Definitely more warmer than the Merit, but almost on par with the depth, or there we go, with the depth. No, what am I doing? Almost on par with the depth of shade between these two. Lovely. All right, moving in to Pat McGrath, I have Flesh 6. Yes, love her Lust Glosses. I'm so curious to see how this compares to that Lib Tinted that we just swatched. And honestly, very, very similar, but this is almost like the cooler sister to that. So a little bit cooler in color. There's one dip, let's do two. I'm obsessed with this shade. I think if I eventually use this up, I will definitely repurchase. So here on this side is Flesh 6. So you can see a touch cooler and a little bit more red than the Lib Tinted, but very, very similar. Do you need both? Probably not. Am I happy to have both? Absolutely. These formulas are stunning, but if I had to choose a formula, it would be Lib Tinted, even though it is not scented and this smells divine, I still would go with the Lib Tinted. All right, moving into the next to last formula of fall lip colors is going to be, no shocker, it is my Fit Glow Lip Serums. I'll start with the lightest and work my way through. So the first one is Gospel, which I have used so much of. It is just a very light rosy berry, and it's kind of similar to the Beauty Pie Sexy Berry, but more warm. I love this shade. I use so much of this. It's like when you want your lips but better with just a touch of warm berry to it. And you know how I feel about these formulas. The absolute best, just blurred, juicy lips. This color is like an everyday thing for me, but I also really love it in the fall. I would wear this anytime. I just love this one so much, but it kind of falls into that berry family. Again, there is Gospel next to the Beauty Pie and the Merit. A little bit more pink and bright too. A gorgeous shade. It's so nice when you realize that all of your lip products are like nourishing because my lips feel like better off doing this. All right, next let's go into a sheer color, which is Jam, another one that I have used quite a bit of. I love this. It is a purple sparkly shade from Fit Glow. And it looks kind of scary purple. I'll even do a swatch just next to that Merit because that's the most purple one that we've swatched so far. But it's sheer, so it more so adds just a layer of purple. So I've swatched it here. A little bit more sheer but built up next to merit you can see quite a bit more purple i would almost say this is purple and the merit is plum but i love this this is like the true color of blueberry like burst blueberries oh so there's more sheer it's just going to add like a wash or a tint of a little bit of purple to the lips but you can really build this up and get a little bit more color payoff. You do have to kind of make sure that you're getting a cohesive layer. I got a little sloppy with it there. But how fun is that? A super cool toned purple lip. I love this, especially with my Olivia Palermo um, eye shade in, what is the name of that shade? I'll pop it up. My favorite one and done. I love these two together. And now that Phytosurgeons came out with that cooler toned version of Fume or that toasted shade, oh, what a look. I love this so much. Such a fun way to incorporate a color that you probably, if you're into more beauty makeup, are not going to do kind of a matte liquid. I would never do a matte liquid lip of this color. I just, I don't prefer that on me. So this is a way that I can play with a purple like that without committing if that makes sense. So love jam so much. And you cannot really feel the glitter particles at all, which I really appreciate. 
I told you I was going to lie on my lips and I just haven't yet. So sorry. The next is Root, which ugh, I wear this color so much more than I thought I would. I love this color so much. It is very similar to, yeah, that's so interesting. It is so similar to the Live Tinted, but deeper and more chocolate. So right here is the Fit Glow Lip Serum in Root. And then right underneath it here, we have the Live Tinted. So you can see a little bit more red, like red chocolate, just a touch and a tiny bit deeper. I love this shade though. This is like such an interesting way to wear a red lip because there's so much chocolatey brown to it. If you have a deeper skin tone, this would look absolutely delicious. It's just such a fun color that I really hadn't seen in a lot of formulas. Like look at that, it's almost like I'm wearing a red or a brown, but it's not so contrasting with my skin tone that it's like the first thing you see, it kind of melds with the blush and everything. I, I love this so much and I will absolutely be wearing a, this a ton in the fall and winter. And again, very similar, but just a little bit more red and chocolatey. The next from Fit Glow, we have Deep, which is, I think they're, no, their deepest lip shade. But what's interest, what is interesting about this is it's much more red than the root shade that we just talked, talked, spoke about. So let's go ahead and apply this and then we'll look at swatches. What a beautiful shade. It is almost like a more toned down sister to the Fenty that we're gonna get into in a little bit. But you can see compared to everything else, it is much more red. Much more red, almost like a true red berry there. Not a lot of brown at all. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I will be wearing this so much because this is, this is like the toned down version of what I've been aiming for this entire fall season and what kicked off this berry lip thing for me. And we'll get into that right after this next swatch. Okay, lastly from Fit Glow, and it's gonna take us into the only other category other than like berries. And it is going to be pumpkin orange. I love wearing pumpkin orange in the fall and this is one of their newer shades in Carotene. And I'm actually gonna do all of the pumpkin shades on this hand. So there is Carotene, a nice a pumpkin-y color. These are always going to be a little bit more sheer, but if you wanna build them up, you can to get a little bit more payoff. And then obviously a lip liner or a lipstick underneath. These just add so much comfort. It's an orange, but is wearable. It's like an orange that has the sophisticated undertones that look very at home on the skin. You're still wearing orange, but it's not like primary orange. There's a lot of thought built into this color for it to be very cohesive with things that already naturally occur in the skin. I, I love it. I love it so much. I will be wearing this. Don't you wear Ray and definitely around and in spooky season, which we technically are in. So be busting this out a lot more often. So to kind of piggyback off of that, let's go ahead and, and wrap up the orange because I only have two more and then I have five more berry lips. I'm telling you, we were on a berry spree lately. The next up I'll do is the Faded Clementine from M Cosmetics. I have the liquid lip and the true gloss. Depends on what formula you want for the day. I will swatch the true gloss much more pigmented and much more almost like a rusty pumpkin compared to the Fit Glow. And the liquid lip is just a touch darker, but I love both of these so much. So we have the True Gloss in the center and then the liquid lip on the outer edge here. So liquid lip, True Gloss, Fit Glow. 
So thick glue is gonna be a lot more wearable if you don't want to jump into the pumpkin. Let's go ahead and swatch the True Gloss. I think it's just gorgeous. Another fabulous formula as well. I would love to dupe this though in a formula that I like even better. And also I just don't purchase from M Cosmetics outside of this because it's just a pain for me. Like there's not enough that I want to justify her prices and shipping and all that. So that's a whole other topic, but I love this. I cannot find a color that is as bright orange because the Ficlo kind of shies away just a touch. I'm looking for this shade, but in a formula that I love, but for now, what a perfect pumpkin lip. It's perfect. And I will do the matte liquid lip because I love you. And it's the only matte liquid lip in this whole swatch video. Okay, let's do this. I will say these are the most comfortable liquid lips that I've tried, but I have not tried a lot because I have wrinkly lips. Okay. I don't like them to show. The applicator also makes this such an easy liquid lip. Very light and kind of powdery feeling almost, like an oily powder and then it sets down. It will last forever and ever. I've worn this to work, but again, slightly darker, but a beautiful orange for fall. I love it so much. We're not doing those fancy swatch videos where like I I don't know that that's me, you know? Let me know if you prefer those. Okay, so there's the orange next to the berry. Two vibes, you know, that we're going for. Let's move in to lipstick, and then the last two are my very favorite, so that's fitting. The next lipstick is Sangria from Merit, which is much darker, really, than anything else that we've swatched so far and definitely like a brown lavender tone to it right there. So that's it next to like a very true kind of berry red. It is kind of a lighter actually sister to the Sangria lip oil. Is this Sangria? This is Lavenu, the lip oil Sangria. I do like this formula though. You'll see that I'm not a huge bullet lipstick person I just prefer a balm or a lip gloss, but again, very wearable. Definitely more on the purple and brown side, but very lightweight. I love it. We'll absolutely be wearing this quite a bit this season as well. I have already really dug into that lip oil though. I would choose the lip oil over the lipstick, I think, for this color, but yeah. All right, moving into the last two lipstick type products I have, we'll do NARS. This is Dolce Vita. This is really all year for me, but it's when I want to wear a red lip without committing to a full on red. It's like a mid-tone pink that has a decent amount of red. I also really like the formula of these crowns. This is as close as I'm gonna get to a matte lip, you know? Other than that pumpkin, faded clementine shade. You can see I've used quite a bit of this too. I love this shade. It's like red when you don't want the fuss. Super comfortable. I, I can't say enough good things about it. There it is again. It looks very pink there, but in person on the lips, it has just enough red to it that it's like an effortless chic red. So I really love that one all year, but especially as we get into colder months and I want more of a statementy lip. Then last in the lipstick category is again from Mob Beauty. This is their lipstick, their cream lipstick in the shade M63. And it is a deep purple red berry. Oh, look at that. You can see above this, um, what was that? This deep shade from Fit Glow is very red. This is red, but deep and like blood red. There's coolness to it more so than deep. It's almost like the very, very pigmented, slightly cooler sister to Fit Glow Deep. And this again melts as soon as you touch it to your lips. Like that's crazy. The pigment payoff is nuts. But I will say it is comfortable and doesn't tend to like migrate too much, but I broke my tip and it's making it very difficult <laughs> to get a beautiful line here. They're just so soft. You do have to be gentle. 
we're not going for perfection here, right? But that is M63 and it is stunning. You do have to play with this one a little bit more and be very careful, but it's so pretty and the ethos of the brand. I really like that. I would be curious though to try their satin or their matte to see if it's less kind of movable, but what a beautiful berry shade, very close to my nails, just slightly lighter. So pretty, look at that swatch, Oh, Love it. Let's get into the last two products, which are my very, very favorite out of all of these. I think, that's hard, these are my children, but these are kind of the exact color I envisioned for this year, if that makes sense. I can't decide which one to do next, so we're gonna do Actually, I only have one left. I wanna save all of the Linda Hallberg for another video, but there's a beautiful berry color in there. So look out for that video, probably filming that tomorrow. But the one color that I knew is the color that I had been looking for, and it's so interesting to swatch against all these other colors because it is so similar to that mob beauty, but it is a touch, a tiny touch more brown which is crazy, and it is the Fenty Fruit Snacks. This is the color. This is the color of my fall and winter dreams. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And you can wear it sheer like I just had it, or you can really build it up. However, the more you build, the more you would benefit from a lip liner, but This is the color of fall. This is the look I was envisioning today. The navy and the maroons coming together, the berries coming together. Oh, so good, happy fall, y'all. But anyway, those are my favorite lips and blushes going into fall, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. So I hope this was helpful. I hope these swatches are helpful. Let me know, I'm still learning. I'm also kind of in a manic rush today. I know that I need to start doing them this way and not wrapping them but those are all the colors of fall that range from adding a slight berry tint to going full on berry red like my nails if you're interested in more kind of seasonal products let me know also check out how i manage my collection seasonally obviously these are go-to's for fall some of them i repurchase almost every fall at the time that they run out like the faded clementine if you know of a dupe for this color, let me know because the pumpkin is where it's at as well. I love the Fit Glow for less commitment into the pumpkin world, but if you know of any dupes for Faded Clementine, let me know. But I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you're getting all of the fall inspo and vibes and that you're having a great week. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.